Today is an exciting day because Alyssa and I are doing like a meet and greet, meet and shop thing at Neiman Marcus in Short Hills, New Jersey. The hair is... This is so exciting. I've never done the... I, I've done a meet and greet before in like 2019, but nothing like this with like my own section and stuff like that. And I am here early at Neiman Marcus Cafe and I've just seen Rebecca. <laughs> Don't look at my clothes. Oh, stop. <laughs> like it. And we have all your greens. I'm so excited. Oh my it's gosh. So oh here. my gosh. This looks incredible. You've done a fantastic job, Thanks, haven't you? Darling. Oh my gosh. Oh, and look at your fabulous section as well. Very East colorful. Coast looks. Oh my gosh. So, I love this dress. I mean, I picked uh, out, you, I picked it out so I know, I, but it is even better in person. You can see which one of us is the more professional because somebody brought their tripod and somebody did not. Put, <laughs> okay. Outfits of the day. <laughs> Kate. <laughs> Kate. <laughs> Peter Dove. Mm -hmm. Bottega. Love it. Walford. Elia. Fendi. And then my bag, which is in the back, is YSL, and I hope you just didn't see my knickers when I turned. Okay, tell me from 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 a merchandiser. So, from with merchandising, in my opinion, it's very important to always have garments that go with each other. Okay. But you also want to have a nice flow, so you want to make sure that you break it up in between. Like, see how we have colors kind of going throughout. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go through. I'm gonna move some things. So here we have shirts for the bottom. We have a nice dress to break it up. You also want to look at the length. Oh. Because you don't want a bunch of short stuff and then a bunch of long stuff. That's okay. not chic. And I am distracted by some of the choices that I've picked. Excuse me. This two tone blazer here. Thank you. Love that. This is a little Victoria Beckham top. That I have actually bought the dress version of to attend a wedding of uh, my friends in September. So I have a very similar black version of this dress. This is Rebecca Valens. You know, I just love these. I picked those recently. A nice little uh, mock croc skater alaya because I'm in a skater alaya skirt. <laughs> oh, these little cargo trousers, Theory. Theory has some very good pieces because I also chose this little safari set, little belted jacket with the shorts. This little spring summer moment. Is she in South Africa? No, but she's at least going to look like she's on the back of a Jeep doing a wonderful safari, ticking off the big five. And accessory wise, oh, did I pick these mainly because I want to dry them? And then of course, the JW Anderson bumper that I just saw, that, oh, love. And then some perfume choices. Fun fact, this is the first like expensive perfume. Oh, Tony and Angela. Tony and Angela, this is their bottle. <laughs> this is the first expensive perfume I bought myself and it's still one of my favorites. And some sonos. I've come to spy. I've come to spy on your section. Oh, I do like that. This is cute. This is the most important visitor today. And he knows it as well, which I love. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sweet man. Oh. Check out, check out. I know, I know. Well, I've heard that there's more than two people there, so we're already off to a good start. <laughs> there's a lot more than two people. Um, and everyone's like standing in a circle waiting for these two <laughs> to emerge. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I'm gonna go up Good afternoon, ladies. Just let me just I'm also about to lose my voice from the amount of talking that I've done today, but it was amazing. It really was. And it just means the absolute world to me that people, you know, took time out of their day to come today. And um, it was amazing to speak to people and get to know people because, you know, most people in the line, like, you know, know a decent amount about me. And I'm like, tell me all about you. So...
I know that my line moved very slowly. Nina's come back from CVS. I know that my line moved very slowly because I... Why? The peach is still sold out. There are no grapes to see that. Oh, I'm sorry, my love. And then after that, I actually went to my friend Jessica's house, chic professor here on YouTube, and had a good catch up because we've been meaning to catch up since I've moved. Um, and that was great. And then I've just got home now. Monday, the 13th of March, and I am attempting to make a pistachio latte. So when I was in Milan at the airport, I saw crema di pistachio. I don't know, but I think I, I think I maybe killed that. So I thought that I would attempt to make a latte out of it. My coffee, my oat milk, and my pistachio cream. And I think that's all I need. The issue is, is the pistachio cream is rather thick. Okay, so, by the way, if I can find, I don't know, this is probably an odd thing to link, but as usual with all of my vlogs and whatnot, links will be below or in the shopping prompt on the screen. Okay, so, I reckon, if we heat her up, will she become more liquid? How much is an appropriate amount? Pistache into Millic. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, the milk is now green. Shrek approved. Moment of truth. It doesn't taste anything like it. Nothing at all. Don't try it at home because it doesn't work. Be right back, trying to hold back the tears while watching Oscar acceptance speeches. I can't. <clears throat> oh, we've been, we've been recording that whole time, have we? Okay, well that's gonna have to go in a bit. Okay, so we are going to go help Christian with a bit of shopping. He has some shopping to do for a client, so I thought I would join and go eat. And I look like a little Chanel marshmallow. So I'm in this, you know, this vintage little Chanel puffer. It's so cute. And then I have my, my uh, grey jumper underneath from the White Company, my new little Chanel mini, my Gucci jeans, and my GLB 27s, my favourite shoe of all time. Avec umbrella, my favourite sneaker of all time, let's be, let's be specific. Oh, Tiffany Hardware earrings. And, because uh, it's a bit rainy, don't want to get caught in the rain. Oh, let's go. I've spotted a wild Christian. What does the wild Christian spot me? May I just say, look at this. Is this not fabulous with the studs? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I love the uh, the denim along the sneaker. I mm -hmm. I am a huge fan of a of a pant shoe combo. Ooh! Because it gives you the flexibility to literally put anything on top. So that's like, true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I love it. So I love like you know a great like denim boot or denim pump with like a you know with a pair a of jeans. jeans obviously, and then literally the world is your oyster with whatever you put on top. You would wear this. this I would. Is, this is the sweater that would belong to your husband, and then you would steal it from him, and it would be oversized, and you would just wear it like cozy on the couch in your cashmere sweatpants and like your Iran slippers. And um, I love in sheer length. I don't know who you think I am, but I wish I was her. <laughs> My gosh. I'm so, well, this is very ski appropriate, I would say. Uh, well, it think? goes with your jacket today. I mean, it does. <laughs> it does. Oh my gosh, so the, the zero Wait. UV rays are getting in this, are they? <laughs> Damn, yeah. Just this section of my face is going to be very anti-aged. <laughs> <laughs> my gosh, they've got a much more exciting men's selection of them. I find these to be interesting, actually. I find them to be interesting. What a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> what? <a bit> uh. wide. <laughs> these are either going to be very nice or like slightly creepy. Your face gave creep. Oh yeah. god, it is creep. Yeah. Stop. Those are so you. They're so you. They're just, they're just quite big, annoyingly. And also, I mean, I have the, the Rick Owens ones that I just bought, mm. but where well, are you? Well, they do look like something that you have. It's true, it's yeah. true. But it is fabulous that they are all gold. I like this shape, like this, uh, this kind of like, almost like a cat eye. Yeah, it suits you. Kazunori! You got to your Kazunori dance? Uh, 
Oh, I think we need more camera for that. <laughs> um, and we're going to try the Midtown East location, if you can hear me over that drilling, which I didn't even know existed until I just Googled it now. So, I'm excited. Okay, so it is in this building called The Hue, uh, where there also seem to be a lot of other eateries. I mean, I might be talking like this, like this is a well-known spot, so forgive me, but I'm discovering it for the first time. Well, we are very excited because there is zero queue and there's always a queue at the other one. Oh my gosh. I am so excited. I'm foaming at the mouth. Cartoonori is my fave. The first have arrived. I ordered three salmon, one taro, two crab, and one salmon sashimi like little platter thing. Taro. This salmon sashimi. How's your taro? My favorite thing in the world. It's so good. Now, on our way out, we were looking for dessert because one is always allowed to finish a main with a dessert. Mm -hmm. So, we're at Mazada. Mazada Bakery, and you have gone for? <laughs> <laughs> the olive oil cake is this very chic packaging. I'm actually... I mean, olive oil cake in general, I feel, is a very chic dessert. Yes, it's very me. Yeah, and then I have gone for the... What was this? The croissant monkey bread. Ah, I'm trying to fish it out. There we go. It is. But it looks interesting. Reaction to your olive oil cake, how is it? It's pretty moist. Okay. You like the word moist. You, have you see, I don't have the, the an issue with it at all. I think it's just an excellent descriptor. I like it. I like the word moist bean because, because it makes people uncomfortable. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, but, uh, and we got a salad. Salad. Yeah. And we're not entirely sure what that is, but apparently it's like a Turkish um, drink. It's nice. Yeah. It's really nice. Have some. What about this makes it monkey? <laughs> it's Tuesday, the fourteenth. And I think I took one too many melatonin gummies last night because I woke up sleepy. And I still am, to be very honest with you. What have I done today? What is on the agenda today? I am honestly just editing tomorrow's video, uploading that. Uh, what else? What else is on my little list? I've got to reconcile my accounting so that the IRS doesn't deport me or something. Um, I've got a lovely Iron Goddess Oolong tea in the hopes that it turns me into an Iron Goddess. Jury's out on that one. Wednesday the 15th of March and I'm going to the gym after about a month of not having been. Update on Road skincare, Hayley Bieber's skincare line. Uh, don't bother, really, to be honest with you. I don't even know why I bought it. It's like... It's not going to freak your skin out because I have quite sensitive skin. It's like comforting and fine. It's not going to change anything. Then what does today have ahead of us? I have to plan videos. Today's a planning day. But then this evening, I'm going to a pharmacy beauty intimate dinner slash event. I have no idea. Pharmacy with an F. Um, I've been using their product for a long time. My favourite is their cleanser, the yellow one. I really, really like that. Oh, and then their... Um, green clean the like makeup removing balm fantastic anyway so they're launching a new product i will take you with me so my gym drink is going to consist of two things collagen powder this is from agent nature and i only know about it because i follow this fabulous woman on instagram at rich girl diet who has the most like amazing hair amazing skin and this is like a thing that she goes on about so i finally bought it and you have to be consistent with these things so i'm trying to take it daily i've literally I've, this is like my third day doing it so no idea yet but i do sort of feel as though my hair is thinning as i get older what am i after i'm after that's what i'm after okay so we're gonna take this we're gonna take a scoop i did start taking this at night 
and I was having some weird dreams. Okay, so um, I don't think the night time's gonna. One, one scoop. Now, whilst it does not taste of anything, I do add a squirt of the sugar-free Hawaiian punch in fruit juicy red. I love that. No specification of what's what what fruits, just fruit juicy red. I'm not asking any questions. Okay, we're gonna do a little whiskey whisk. Add more water. Great. Alright. I'm going to make my current hyperfixation meal, and that is cottage cheese on toast. Cottage cheese. Sourdough. I love a good sourdough. You can't go wrong with a sourdough. Now, you could be normal. Butter your toast like normal when it's done, right? Except I like to basically brown a bit of butter in a pan, okay? So when it, you know that when it starts to like separate and it goes like a little bit brown, not burnt, but brown. Then I finish the toasting the bread in the pan. Um, I don't know why. I saw somebody do it on TikTok. It looks delicious. I tried it, confirmed it was delicious. So now this is part of my routine. The only other ingredients that will be needed are a good extra virgin olive oil and salt and pepper. Um, I mean, you could put whatever on this. Some people put honey. I don't know why. I, if I'm having toast, it's savory. I can't have it sweet. I don't like it sweet. French toast to me is a separate category of item. Don't, I can't, okay? So yes, you could put honey, you could put um, everything bagel seasoning. I've just realized that I don't have any rings on and my hands feel very naked. Basically, it ends up tasting a little bit like burrata on toast. After putting it in the pan, we now have this golden, very, hold on, ready. Lovely. Mangle. Good evening, right after morning even, right, is that we're going to take the cottage cheese and give it a good spread. Your olive oil, all right, we're going to move it in here. Yes, give it a drizz. And a bit more, oh yeah, very nice. And a tiny bit over here, just, just the touch, wonderful. Oh yes. Look at her. Look who's come to visit me. Yes, and look what we've got to try. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm just exhausted from the, from the wind. I was listening to uh, London by... Uh, I'm in London. I like to go and shop, shop at the mall. mall. Yeah. Um, beer. Yes, beer. Thank you. I love that song, by the way. And I've been. I've, Me I've, loves that song. And I've loved it since actually before I met you. But uh, you're like it wasn't just your London influence. Right. <laughs> what's uh, Shoreditch? Oh, Shoreditch is East London. It's like very cool London. I don't fit in in Shoreditch. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's that like, surprises me. Do you want to know what Shoreditch is like? Maybe like a Williamsburg. Like it's okay. like hipster cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There's a Soho house there. Like, yeah. Which, <laughs> do, we don't, do we, you don't want to go? <laughs> I'm fine without a membership. Yeah, exactly. Same. <laughs> I'm fine without an invite. Like, yeah. like literally like okay. small batch. They're meant to smell amazing. Smell, smell. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is, it smells like candy almost. I know. Okay. I've never seen strawberry pours so deep and also it's yeah, like the pores, kinda, the pores are pouring. It's <laughs> um ready? I'm going to assume that we don't need to wash these because they've gone on they and on so, about I the know. fact that they're on the car side. Cheers. Cheers. Alright. Oh. Oh my god. Very soft. Yeah. And like delicious. Juicy. They're juicy. Yeah. How are you doing your hair today? <laughs> Listen, it could. It was it just going to be down. It could come out with some. You could come out with some Beyonce shots, natural wind. Okay, yeah, that's true. That's true. What do you like, like with one eye? Like. <laughs> <laughs> um, I went to the gym this morning. So yeah. proud. Thank you. Hi, I'm trying to get ready for this sodding event, and I don't know which sodding shoes to go for. It is the winds outside are like crazy, so I don't know what I'm doing. I need 
jacket and sunglasses and then that's it right no a bag a bag I, could, I mean I could do a pop of red and use my new like phone bag actually I think I'm gonna do that let's give her a go come on trial run jacket and I didn't really want to wear a jacket but no 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 option I've got to um, last thing, sunglasses. Oh my gosh, everything is everywhere. Sometimes you just need, yes. I think I hate the sunglasses with it. Sod it. It's quite a sophisticated look for me and I'm not used to that, so. <laughs> Please join me in laughing at this footage as what my hair looked like after waiting for my Uber for like two minutes outside. The winds were very strong. I believe this is what we're celebrating today, so. Pharmacy, brighten up, 3% TXA. I've never heard of TXA. Oh, it says Alic Acid and a PHA Dark Spot Toner. So, this is the vibe, let me show you. It's at this Italian restaurant called Gelso and Grand, and apparently there's gonna be a magic show. And listen, I'm all up for any forms of entertainment. Mm, and there is food. Kale Caesar, fantastic burrata. Oh, if there's a burrata, I oh, the calamari. And an eggplant burrata. Oh, and an arancini. This is a phenomenal menu. Oh my gosh. So that's to share. Then main course, cacio e pepe, king salmon or steak, and then sides, followed by dessert. And after dinner drinks. My gosh. Even to the texture, and 97% saw an improvement in hydrogen mutation. Through this very result, we are seeing more suitable for all skin types and tones and tested safe for all skin types and tones. And also, we use more and night. So, again, we are committed to sustainability. This product is 100% recyclable. I made friends, I was nervous because I didn't have anybody, but um, the two girls, well, actually, everybody on our table has been fantastic. So, now, we're going downstairs for another experience. Everyone look at this sheet of paper in Veronica's hand. I'm handing this to her at the beginning of the trick. Oh yeah. And go up and down without looking. Just scroll up and down. You give it a flick, whatever you want to do. Whenever you feel ready, just touch a name in your bag. And don't let me see, but let us know if it's someone that you know personally. It is, yeah. Okay, Erin, it'd be bizarre if this said the name of the person that you're thinking of, wouldn't it? <laughs> Everyone here at the back, I want to show you, not only did I write down a name, I wrote down uh, a bunch of names. I, are any of those the name that you're thinking about? No, none no. of these are who you picked. No. Exactly. <laughs> Magic is all about looking right at something and being wrong about what you see. The toner all of you are looking at tonight removes dark spots. There's dark spots on this paper. Dark spots. Dark spots. Erin, I want to show you that actually a bunch of the names are starting to disappear, almost every single one, except. Every dark spot is gone except for this. O-L-I-V-I-A. Did you think of someone named that is Olivia? Me. Is that who you chose on your <laughs> So, debrief. I was nervous because I didn't know anybody going to this event. And I was like, oh, I don't know how people will be, blah, blah, blah. And within about five minutes of me being there, this girl is like, oh my gosh, Cassie. And she was like, oh, I follow you, blah, blah, blah. And we just got on so well. She's so lovely. Her name's Gabriella. I will have her um, Instagram here. She was fabulous. And, and we had a lovely time. And uh, to be honest with you, everybody on our table was so friendly and nice. So that made me feel at ease. We got a goodie bag. I shall show you what is in the goodie bag. So we have a toweling scrunchie. Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Moisturising Ceramide Moisturiser. I actually finished one of these not that long ago and I enjoyed it. So this is the item that they were uh, launching, which is the Brighten Up 3% TXA Dark Spot Toner. I don't know if I'll try this right now, 
I don't really necessarily have dark spot issues. My mum does. So I don't know, I might save that for her to try. This I'm excited about, 10% waterless vitamin C serum. So I've been trying to find a good vitamin C. I do like the SkinCeuticals one, but it's pricey. So I wanted to see other alternatives. I've been using a Biosense one, which is nice. I don't know if I've particularly seen a difference though, but I'm excited to try this because it says it's 10% ascorbic acid, the most potent form of vitamin C, waterless oil-free concentrate, maximum stability and performance. So I'm into that. And then 10 out of 10 green clean melts away the makeup. I'm, I'm probably gonna use this tonight, actually. Right today, I need to finish off a little bit of planning. I, I did not realize how long this one video was gonna take me to plan. Whenever it's a trends video, I, I always underestimate it because I like to find specific looks from eat like different designers to reference. And I forget that that takes me hours. It's Thursday. I was gonna say it's Friday because it's one of those weeks, let me tell you. Today I am filming, editing this to put it up tomorrow for you guys, but I just wanted to do a little bit of reflection. I am looking straight across. Oh my gosh, am I watching? She's just out here doing her exercises. Gosh, you're making me look bad. Oh my gosh, she's like really got the moves in her matching set and she's, oh my gosh, she's jumping, she's doing the kicks with the weight. Anyway, I have been thinking about Sunday and I mean, A, I would love to do more and more of these sort of like events and you know thank you so much to Neiman Marcus and Rebecca for uh, putting that together for Alyssa and I but thank you to the people that took time out of their Sunday to come and say hello and you know I went like an hour and a half over time because I was just so excited to talk to everybody and learn about you guys and put faces behind usernames. Somebody flew in from Denver that's insane. Somebody else flew in from North Carolina. Somebody else w was like, oh yeah, I'm driving like three hours. I won't drive three hours to see family. <laughs> it was so special and I will like have those memories forever. So yeah, thanks. And I hope that I get to do more. Anyway, I'm gonna leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. In the words of my father. If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye, guys.